Depleted uranium munitions are solid uranium-238. They are not coated, they are not tipped. Each and every tank round fired by the Abrams tank is 10 pounds of solid uranium-238 contaminated with plutonium, neptunium, and americium. Now the contamination came from the U.S. Department of Energy manufacturing sites in Paducah, Kentucky, Oak Ridge, and Tennessee, and Portsmouth, and Ohio. Solid uranium-238. Now, the A-10 Warthog aircraft, it's a phenomenal tank buster. It's excellent in combat, just like the Abrams tank is. Each individual round fired by the Warthog is three-quarters of a pound of solid uranium-238. They are not coated, they are not tipped. We fired about a million rounds of the a 30 millimeter during the Gulf War. 15,000 rounds of the tank round during the Gulf War for about 350 tons of solid uranium-238. The majority of the casualties during the Gulf War, the majority of those that died, the majority of the Americans that died during the Gulf War and that were injured in the Gulf War were as a result of friendly fire. The U.S. shooting the U.S. with uranium munitions. When I got the tasking from the Pentagon down through Norman G. Schwarzkopf, directly to D.G. Zulis. Now, Schwarzkopf was the theater commander, overall the top general. He was in charge of the war. D.G. Zulis was the theater medical commander, and I worked for him. They told me, clean up the D.U. mess, and I'm going to finish the job. When we got up into northern Saudi Arabia, KKMC, that's King Khalid Military City, we're collecting the U.S. friendly fire vehicles there. We walked in there, and members of the 144th Maintenance Company were in there working on this already, and they're in cutoffs in their boots, and that's about it. They're sucking uranium dust in. They're sucking uranium contamination. They're absorbing uranium contamination. We walked in there. And there's only one way to describe it, and it's very appropriate in this building, this church. Oh, my God. Within 72 hours, we were sick. Within 72 hours, respiratory problems started on myself and the rest of my team, and we were already seeing it on the individuals. The 144th was there, and we're already hearing reports of that from the friendly fire casualties. Within 72 hours. The rashes started, open sores that opened and bled. We're in a war. Things are blowing up around us. We're t pulling unexploded ordnance out of these destroyed vehicles. We're messing around. Now everybody says you've got to wear respiratory and skin protection or some type of respiratory and skin protection. It's a hundred and some odd degrees. And they told us, all you need is exam gloves for your medical personnel and a surgical mask. Well, as everybody that's worked in the medical field knows that a surgical mask is good for spit and not much else. Now, uranium oxides are submicron in size, which means that we're seeing some of the size of marbles and sizes going down to submicron. And now, a submicron, one micron is 10 to the minus 10th meters. This is atomic scale and we're sucking this in. And the troops are sucking this in, and they're getting sick. Now, as the health physicist and responsible for the theater, I went to the medical commanders and said, you've got to provide medical care for all of the DU friendly fire casualties immediately. We need a radio bioassay, which consists of nasal and pharyngeal swab. You reach in the back of the throat with a Q-tip, and you find out they sucked in any uranium in. You collect their urine to find out if it's, it was collected in, and they're passing it out. You collect their feces to find out if they're passing it out. But you need to do it right away because in order to get heavy metal to poison, now uranium immediately starts out, your primary problem is heavy metal, not the radiological components. It's the heavy metal components. So we need to do chelation just like you do for lead poisoning. But it has to be done rapidly because of a thing called bio half-life. And a bio half-life is where the uranium then goes into sequestering in the parts of the bodies, or it passes out through the urine, and you'll never find it. 
We need to get subscribe and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.